Okay, let's do the smile now. Mark, do the smile. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, hi, Mark. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm done. Uh, I'm done with... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are done. You have been working now for like uh, plenty of days at Ambiente. Uh, how was it? Oh, it was great. Yeah. My my topic was optimism. Yeah. So uh, keeping myself up. But in yeah. these tough times, it's a very important theme. Yeah. And you, if you join my tours, yeah. you can see that the companies I talk to, uh, for them, it's very releasing to talk yeah. about optimism yeah. because they have such good approaches. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they forgot uh, to push it in front. And um, yeah. I discovered um, very good companies this time. So, so Mark, um, you're a designer, uh, but you're also a teacher and you're also half Swedish. We're going to talk about Swedishness because uh, we forgot to do that last time. We're going to talk about in Swedish. No, we don't have to, but <laughs> we can. But you're, so you're a designer, but you're also here then at the fair Ambiente, which is one of the largest fairs with like tons and tons of stuff. Um, and you're here to do these tours. Um, and you said you're doing optimism. Um, what did you do last time? What's different now for 2024? Uh, last time I did how sustainable is my sustainability yeah. because you can see this everywhere. Yeah. Sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. Yeah. And we all know 100% sustainability is impossible. Yeah. And um, the best sustainable companies yeah. don't even write it yeah. because they know they are not 100% sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. That was last year. And that was more a critical approach. And this time it was uh, new optimism. Yeah. And um, I'm not naive, you know, I go to the companies and I uh, ask for their vision, what's their impact, how do they want to change society and what's what's the core yeah. of their identity. And um, it's still critical, yeah. but it's nice to have a positive approach. Yeah. I think it's very good that you have these tours. You're doing them together with Inika Hans, so you do like certain areas. So and you divide it, so Inika Hans is doing one section of the fair and you do the other section of the fair. Um, was it, uh, what did the brands respond when you said that, I want to talk about optimism? Um, <clears throat> they, they are quite happy that I asked this question and very often I have, uh, I'm like a treasure hunter, you know, and I see a product which an optimistic um, USP and um, Sometimes they don't even see it anymore because it's normal for them, but then they were open and happy and they uh, gave the vision to the journalists. Yeah. Um, and now you're going home. You're going home to Berlin. That's where your home is, right? Um, and how was Ambiente? Can you give like a, a grade from 1 to 10? I would say uh, it's really... Um, I'm an optimistic person, you know? <laughs> And I think this is a 10 yeah. because it's fully booked. Yeah. It's a good optimistic atmosphere. It's not like, okay, everything is shrinking. No, it's fully booked and people are here and curious and they, they have these three uh, fair topics in one and it's, you can discover so much as cool. I do, I do agree. I think it a, a, gets a high grade from me as well. Um, l I mean, this is absolutely one of the largest ones. And, and yeah, if you have to do something fair-wise, you're going to have to pass by Ambiente at one point. So yeah, it's important in that sense. Um, what are fairs in general? Are they important? Are, are we leaving that? Are we doing design weeks instead? Where's the shift? It's more compact. I had a nice dinner with Philip Mainzer from E15 and we talked about that and about Milan and that he's going to the fair because it's more compact, he meets more people in an efficient way. Of course it's cool to be in town and to have a nice showroom but it's so much more uh, efficient to be on a fair and you have real meetings. Um, yeah, I think it's something we... Maybe it's not so attractive as a festival, like uh, three days of design in Copenhagen, but it's very efficient and if people don't have so much time, I think it will never die. Yeah. I agree with you. I think that I'm a, I'm a firm believer of fairs, uh, mainly from an efficiency point of view. Uh, and I've said that tons and tons of times. I think that, but there's also something attractive with design weeks. You know, the casualness and everything. Well, we'll see how this evolves. I don't think anyone has the proper answer of the evolution of fairs after this year, but it's going to be challenging. Are you going to Milan? Sure, I do. I have a new project I will launch there and I... What? 
What are you launching? It will be a um, pendant yeah. with uh, Bonacina. It's a nice Italian brand, yeah. uh, famous for their classics from Gio Ponti. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we do this outdoor pendant, okay. outdoor, indoor. It's, it's a nice project. Nice. Come and see. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I will be there. Uh, I just booked the hotel. Have you booked your hotel yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm an optimist, so I, I need um, exactly, yeah. a last minute thing, and then it's the best. Yeah. So let's talk about German design then, because you're you're German uh, or half German anyway. Um, can you can you talk about German design? Is there like a style that's German? Um, there's a <clears throat> of course there's a style. We we have a high functional approach and um, it's a quality driven approach. Uh, maybe we are not so happy than Italian design, but... Um, no one beats the colorfulness of Cartel and the, these Italian brands, yeah. Exactly, but uh, stick to your identity, yeah. be proud of it, and I think um, that's yeah. what we are, and I like to work with German brands. Yeah. because you, you, You're quite engineer-driven, aren't you? As a, You personally, as a designer. Uh, well, uh, um, you look skeptical, but I think I mean you do watches and a lot of like high tech things. I mean you're very engineer driven. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is not a question. <laughs> it's not a question. Uh, no, well I'm not, but uh, <coughs> I I love language without words and I love identity a lot. And I team up with engineers. Yeah. They are engineer driven, and I'm design driven. And I like to give people some identity with my products, and uh, that's what my part is. We're still in early 2024. How was last year? Was it a good year? or how was, I mean, it w we had world recession, war in Ukraine and war in Gaza. So, I mean, how was 2023 for Mark Brown? Uh, it was a good year. We had... Um, we won two awards. Gold. Which ones? So, IF Gold and German Design Award in Gold, and which means let's say it's real yeah. an award because yeah. the gold award is maybe 60 I get the gold uh, award and I was very happy with that with a mono I've mm. done a cutlery mm. Mm. and yeah. yeah the other things I have quite uh, strong relationships to my client it's mm. ongoing so we're halfway through I was double checking the clock on the on the uh, uh, mic uh, mi microphone no mobile phone <laughs> I'm not recording with a microphone um, but so you're half Swedish um, how, how Swedish are you <coughs> I discovered that I'm um, quite Swedish yeah. I took over um, a uh, not a quarter um, a third part of a yeah house yeah. in the southern archipelago yeah. of uh, Gothenburg yeah. and I'm going there since 10 years every year mm -hmm. and slowly I'm adopted by the village mm -hmm. I have uh, lots of Swedish uh, friends and uh, many many Suslins I'm hanging out with mm -hmm. it's cool mm -hmm. nice. but do you speak Swedish? Yeah, <laughs> but this is for an international audience so they have no idea what he what you just said he said I love you no I'm just kidding <laughs> But uh, but do you identify anyway as Swedish? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah but I, I have to say um, <clears throat> I just still dif discover this Swedish identity. Yeah. So uh, it's about interacting. And of course, my grandma uh, was a strong impact for me. She was an artist. And yeah, we had this wonderful summer house there. So I have a strong family relation to Sweden. But the... Swedes, are, this, this is growing. Both of my kids are Swedish now. We have uh, all Swedish passports, so yeah. But Swedes are very difficult, you know, so beware. You can identify as Swedish if you want to, but Swedes are difficult. They're not as friendly as you think. Uh, we're quite cold and reserved and everything. And we need a glass of wine to be able to start talking, so yeah. Yeah, the stimma. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, um, what, what are you what are you doing for twenty twenty four? Again, this is beginning of the year. This is like a whole new year ahead of you. Are you doing like new products with brands or something like that? Work wise, work wise, I do a new shaving set now for Mühle. They are also here on the fair. Great company, super quality driven, 
and uh, it's with glass. So we work mm. with glass handles, oh. uh, shaving set um, with a good quality, nice design. And um, I go to China in September with my students to a bamboos workshop there in southern China nice. to see the future of bamboos. Yeah. But speaking about the future and also your students, because you're also a teacher and, and some of your students are doing extremely well. I mean, I, we talked about Julia, I, I can't remember her last name, but she was doing things in Milan. Um, how do you teach a young person about design? How do you get them so good, Mark? Well, my students are doing good and also in my studio I'm, I'm like a um, trainer yeah. and um, I, I think I can train them for real life very yeah. well because I'm so into business yeah. and not yeah. only a teacher uh, fantasizing about the future. Yeah. So uh, it's I'm here now and I, I'm very honest and uh, I think that the younger people are very good for me also yeah. to learn yeah. and uh, they, they trust me, I trust them. So, yeah. But if you could uh, you know, teach them one thing, this is also something people are going to quote you on this, so <laughs> be prepared. If you wanna, if you can teach a young person something who is interested in design, what would you tell them? It's like a, don't overwork it. Like Coco Chanel, I just watched a TV show. Like Coco Chanel, every time she left the house, she took one piece off. For instance, that's like a rule. Do you have like any good rules for people who are interested in design and want to get into this field? What would they do? They. They should stick to their strengths yeah. um, and become aware of this wonderful tool design yeah. that uh, it's not only about making people happy yeah. through buying new things. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a cool instrument yeah. to change the world in a good direction. Yeah. I think it's also very good. Um, but I also think that we need to stay happy, as you said. I think that we need to have products that are not fancy. I think we want to need to have products that sort of like speaks to emotions. Because if something speaks to you, you will keep it and, and have it. Uh, and not just throw it away and use it. Um, when was the last time you bought something? Yeah. <laughs> you, don't buy, you don't buy anything. You make it. But did I, <laughs> when was the last time you bought something? Very good question. Uh, I bought something... Oh. Yeah, Christmas? Christmas? Yeah. Did you buy anything for Christmas for your kids, for your, your partner? Actually, I do a lot myself. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so... Um, I go to Modulo a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a warehouse for materials and design and um, mm -hmm. I buy books sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, but um, to be on point, I, I can't answer that question that good, so. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, you don't have to buy, you make it your own. I think that's also like a big thing that we're gonna see more of. People are doing things on their own. Um, this show is all about design and desserts. So what kind of desserts do you like, Mark Brown? Lemon, lemon tart, yeah. yeah. That's, I think, uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. I can do myself also. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Mark Brown is against shopping. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> so um, you're going back to, um, to Berlin today. What was the uh, biggest impact for, for Ambiente from you? What are you going to remember this fair? Not a bag. It's yeah. a company I really like, and they. Uh, I just spoke to them. And yeah. They they are problem solvers. They are super happy in their aesthetics, yeah. and I think that's the mix I need now. Yeah. Yeah. So you are going to make bags because you don't want to buy bags. So you're going to make it your own, right? <laughs> no, I will. I will buy a bag. Yeah, okay. you, I can't do everything on my own. Well, thank you for uh, sitting down with me and uh, I'll see you both in Sweden, uh, but also in Berlin and also in Milan very soon. So thank you and uh, goodbye.